Hi guys, we're gonna move this candle. I wanted to put it here for the vibes, but I don't wanna burn myself. Safety over aesthetics. You heard it here first. <laughs> Super freaking excited to be doing another get ready with me. It's been a while. I just love the chill, casual format of a get ready with me for talking about things. I have a little matcha, obviously. I feel like we could be a little bit lower in this chair. Oh my God, wow. Okay. <laughs> so what I really want to talk about in this video is my basically sabbatical. My two months off of work that I'm taking this summer. I've mentioned it casually a few times, but I wanted to do a video talking about why I decided to do this, other people's reactions to it, and also just chatting a little bit about corporate guilt and the pressure to constantly be working, how we're not really encouraged to take breaks in this society. You know, speaking from the perspective of someone working and living in America, America's not very good about encouraging vacations, encouraging breaks and time off from work. First things first, let's talk about why I'm taking the break. So from a very logistical standpoint, the position that I am currently in, because I'm still not done, I still have like a week left from when I'm filming this, but by the time I post this, I'll be done. I'll be in my fun employed era. The current position that I'm in does not allow vacation. I should moisturize before I put foundation on. What am I doing? So yeah, in my current position, we have no vacation time. And I had two trips that I wanted to take this summer. So my options kind of were, take some time in between my two roles or have absolutely no ability to take those vacations. The position that I'm in right now was basically a year long internship program. So I was in this year long program. I was supposed to finish that program back in, I think it was May. In my last Get Ready With Me actually, I talked about how I had to do this big project slash presentation that would basically determine whether I got into the next program. So the next like year long thing that they offer obviously came with a pay bump and you know, was a position up basically, but still a year long program. And I did actually end up landing that. So that was really exciting. And that starts in the fall. So they basically offered to me, hey, we'll extend your year long internship so that you don't have to be, you know, jobless in the interim during the summer. So I worked an extra like month or so of my internship. And I kind of knew the whole time that I wanted to take at least like a couple weeks in between to kind of reset and prep and all that and to give myself a small vacation. But that small vacation turned into two months of vacation. The technical reason why I'm starting it so early is because I'm going home for my boyfriend's high school reunion and obviously I didn't have any time off. I think that having that reunion gave me the push that I really needed to advocate for myself and take the break I wanted to take. I really was craving and knew that I needed a hard reset and just a break from work, kind of like how we always used to get summer vacation from school. I have beef with <laughs> the working world in the sense that there are not these built in extensive full reset type of breaks that we used to have. And I think that's a real failure on the part of the working world. And to be honest with you, I think part of the reason why it's like that is because they don't want people taking that time to refresh and think and potentially maybe change course or gain a new perspective on things, maybe realize they need to have stronger boundaries and stuff. Like I feel like it's very intentional to keep people in the working mode and not taking the time time to reflect and think and reset and become the best version of themselves. Like I do think that that's a intentional thing of corporate America. They don't want you to have time off. They don't want you to stop working. Anyway, <laughs> I really wanted to take this opportunity to advocate for myself and give myself what I felt I needed and what I think that all people who are working in this environment really do need and should have. And I recognized the tremendous opportunity that I had by having a distinct and and start date to these two positions and time in between them that I could take this break, which a lot of people don't have the opportunity to do. So I felt extremely lucky and I felt it would be a huge waste not to take advantage of that gap and to just let myself, you know, steamroll right into the next position instead of taking the time that I really wanted and needed to feel completely refreshed and ready. Like I always remember back in school, by the end of the second semester, everyone was dead. Like everyone needed to go home. And then by the time the fall rolled around, people had that excitement to get back to it and there was school supplies shopping and you know back to school outfit shopping and it just became this exciting 
same thing of, okay, I took this time off. I had my fun summer. Now it's time to like get back to it. And I'm excited and I'm invigorated and I felt refreshed. And I feel like that was the beauty of summer vacation. And that's what I'm kind of trying to basically artificially recreate for myself in a system that does not allow us to have that once we enter the adulting phase, unless of course you're self-employed or have an untraditional work schedule, etc. I need to take a sip of this matcha. I'm already talking tons. <laughs> so that's kind of my reasoning. I don't think it should be shocking or even require extensive explanation to want time off. Yet weirdly, when I decided to take time off, I did feel a crazy need to justify it. And if I hadn't had these trips planned, I don't think I would have been so firm in my resolve of giving myself this time off. Because to be honest, commitments like a trip you've planned or a reunion or a wedding, they're a lot more respected as valid reasons for time off than just wanting that time off for yourself. And there's a lot of guilt that comes around all of this. I felt very guilty asking for this break and telling HR, hey, I actually want to end my position earlier. And it shocked me because I never really thought that I was, I don't know, integrated into corporate culture that I would feel the guilt of disappointing a company or disappointing a manager so strongly and the anxiety that came with that. I initially proposed it and the second that I felt my decision was even slightly being like questioned, I immediately felt myself kind of backpedaling and faltering and being like, maybe it's too much time. Like maybe I don't need two months off because people were acting like it was crazy to take two months off. And I totally get that from a financial perspective, it is a strain to take an extended period of time off of work. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a ton of money saved up for this. I am fully expecting to have to borrow money from those closest to me for this time period. I feel comfortable doing that because I do have a position secured in September that I know I'm gonna be making more money at. So I feel confident that I'm gonna be able to pay them back very quickly. These people in my life have assured me that they do not feel it is any sort of burden and they are more than willing to help me, which I'm incredibly grateful for. I just wanted to put that out there because there is a level of privilege required for me to be doing this right now. I always find it a little surprising that people are so shocked when someone wants time off. I do also think it's a bit of a generational thing because I do think that Gen Z and like younger millennials are a lot less indoctrinated in corporate culture. And we can see that this hamster wheel of working constantly throughout our lives can be incredibly draining, exhausting, unsustainable. And so I do feel like I've been getting more receptive and encouraging responses from younger people because they get it. They understand why I would want this. And a lot of people are being like, oh my God, I'm jealous like this is so good I wish I had done that you should totally do this I just find that interesting versus the older people I've told it's a lot more like being met with questions like why do you need so much time off I don't know don't we all like don't we all need some just just a break sometimes if I can choose between working and not working I want to be not working to be honest at least not working in the traditional sense like I have my own things that I work on example YouTube which honestly is one of my favorite ways to spend time and I will willingly work on something like this. But when it comes to like a job, if I can choose not to work, why wouldn't I do that? <laughs> That's just kind of my perspective on it. So it did kind of, in a sense, take me by surprise, but also I wasn't surprised because I know that this is how some people think is they're very much like, you wanna look good to your employer. You wanna put in as much time as you can. If they offer you something, you should take it. Like you need to prove you're a hard worker, show that you care, etc. That's very much the old way of thinking about work. I see and respect that perspective but also it's just so crazy to me. <laughs> I don't feel that way, at least not consciously, but then I need to like actually work on my makeup. I'm just chatting. <laughs> I say that I don't feel that way, but then I experienced a lot of guilt and anxiety when I went to ask for this break. So clearly I'm not as free from that line of thinking as I thought. And this also has to do with me being a people pleaser and also someone who was always a straight A student, was very used to always pleasing authority figures and impressing, you know, adults. And so now I do still have some of that pressure of wanting adults to validate and agree with all of my decisions. And at the end of the day, I just need to be okay with potentially disappointing or confusing certain authority figures in my life in order to give myself what I know I need and want. <laughs> little blush on the nose situation. Not only do I want this time to relax, recharge, get good with me, take care of my body in a way that I am not able to 
honestly, with a full-time job, like I'm gonna be so fucking active, taking incredible care of my hair and my skin. Like these sound like the most simple things, but like having the time to really spend that time on me, I think is gonna be so nice. Like I wanna feel like my best self. I know that this is kind of just an excuse and I need to just figure it out, but like trying to balance work, exercise, and getting cute and getting ready in a day, those three, I really struggle with getting all three of those in on a work day. And I just know that with this break, I'm gonna be able to like fully get ready and take my time at the gym and not have to be like, okay, we can only work out for half an hour because I need to get back by a certain time to be in front of my computer. Like how liberating. I also think this will be really cool because it will give me a little taste of the self-employed kind of life that I've always dreamed of. And I think that's really awesome. I wanna take the time to really focus on YouTube in a way that I normally can't and kind of treat it like my full-time job. I say that with hesitancy because of course I don't wanna just, you know, be working eight hours a day at my computer on YouTube instead of my nine to five. Like that's not the goal. But I do wanna be putting in more time to YouTube than I'm used to. And I think I'll be able to do that while also getting the social fix and the like self-care fix that I really crave. And that's a really exciting concept to me because I really do get to like test drive my dream life in a sense. Something else which I kind of touched on in my July monthly reset that this endeavor has really brought to the surface is the narrative which I've heard from many people at this point of when people don't have a job, they lose it basically. You hear those stories of people who retire, then get bored and go back to work. And I've had people throw that example at me before when arguing that, oh, if you don't have a traditional job, your life doesn't have structure, you lack fulfillment, etc., and you ultimately end up wanting to go back to work. And I do kind of feel like that this is, in a sense, a little bit of an excuse or justification that people use to try and make sense of why we spend so much time working and why we need traditional jobs. And I think it's a lot of bullshit to be completely honest. I do think that there are certain personality types where you know, people who just don't have that self-motivation or maybe they don't have a passion or something else driving them. So the thing that they do pour themselves into is their work and they like having a set thing that they're supposed to be doing and getting that validation. That is a personality and an identity that absolutely exists, but I don't think that's the case for everybody. And that's where I have an issue with this narrative. I genuinely think that I would do an amazing job self-motivating and maintaining a productive and fulfilling life without a job. This goes back to me being so shocked that people are like, what could you possibly want or need all that time for? Guys, there's so much that I wanna spend time on. And when people say that, I'm just like, do you not have passions, hobbies, side hustles? Do you not want extra time to take care of yourself or move your body or watch a movie that you've been dying to see? Like, how do people not have this like list of things that they would love to do if they had more free time? I'm also incredibly excited for being able to create my own schedule fully, being able to do things whenever I want, not having to answer to anybody, and also not feeling like I'm on call all day. That is one part of a traditional, you know, work environment that does really bother me. I always got very stressed out about the fact that I felt like I always had to be right there on my computer, ready to answer a message as soon as it came in, or if something new popped up on my calendar that I wasn't anticipating, like a meeting or something, suddenly I had to be ready and able to take a meeting, and I just always had this feeling of having to check my messages, having to check my email, having to be like turned on and on call all day. That's why I've always kind of envied the sort of work structure where you're not expected to respond right away. You take your own time and your own schedule when doing the work. You can decide to do the project at eight o'clock at night, whenever you work best, it's fine. I'm excited to be able to function like that, you know? If one day I don't, oh my God, am I losing my voice right now? <laughs> if one day I don't feel like working, I can make that call for myself and be like, okay, you're not gonna edit a video today. Like, let's just read on the couch. That's a mind blowing concept to me, especially because with the way that I'm currently doing things, my weekends are so precious and so important that I have a hard time wasting a day of the weekend, if that makes sense, because the weekends are the time that I have to film 
a YouTube video. They're the time that I have to really get intense editing done. And if I don't take advantage of those days, suddenly I'm behind, suddenly I'm not working towards that goal anymore. And I basically let myself down. So in a sense, I never feel like I can fully take a day off because those weekends are so precious and it's my time to work on the things that I wanna work on. And I don't wanna waste that opportunity. So to have seven days a week where I'm fully free and can set my own schedule, suddenly taking one or two days to fully unplug doesn't feel like a death sentence in the way that it does when I only have the weekends to work on personal projects. Does that make sense? Anyway, this is just me saying that I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to do eyeliner in this viewfinder right now because I just know that's gonna be a disaster. I don't know how my makeup looks right now. I can't see the mirror from this angle. So we are really just playing with fire. I'm really hoping that, you know, these next few months can be a real period of growth and that by the time this break is over, I really feel like I've grown the channel and it feels like a more legitimate part of my career when I do end up going back to, you know, having a full-time job. I wanna feel like I did take advantage of that time off both personally and in terms of growing this channel. Another huge thing that I'm gonna be focused on during this time off is pouring time and energy into my relationship. My relationship's at a really good place right now, actually. It's not like I feel like it needs special attention, but I will have the opportunity to do that because right now my boyfriend and I have basically opposite work schedules. So his days off are days where I have to work. And that basically results in, yes, we're seeing each other, especially when I work from home, we still get to see each other, but it's not like quality time because I'm distracted. I'm, you know, working and just chatting with him in the in-betweens. My face is glued to a computer screen. It's not quality time, obviously. So to have those days off now where we can fully spend an off day together, spend a long time at the gym and eat lunch without me having to like check my watch and be like, okay, gotta get back to work. That's just gonna be amazing and just like really good for our relationship, I feel. And still convinced that this is the perfect lipstick and I will fight anyone who tries to argue otherwise. All right, I've been filming for close to 40 minutes, so <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a sign that it's time to wrap this shit up. Hopefully I'll be able to cut it down into something more reasonable. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this more chatty style video. If you wanna see more just like, you know, chatty, very real, unfiltered types of videos, let me know. That's it for this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.